What up, everybody? Instruct the Beats back again here with another fraction lesson. Today, we are going to be using our unit fraction knowledge to build whole numbers. So, let's get our tools out and start building by looking at our objective today. Our objective today. Today, I will be able to build a whole when given the unit fraction. But before we start getting building, right, we got to check out our math vocabulary that we've learned in previous lessons. This is integral, very important to our lesson today. So we know when we write fractions, we have a top and bottom number, right, that's split up by a line. We talk, call that top number the numerator, and we call that bottom number the denominator, right? D for down helps me to remember that the denominator is down. It's the bottom of the fraction. The denominator tells us how many pieces one whole is split into, right? So it could be a whole pizza, it could be a whole Hershey bar, it could even be a number line, it doesn't matter, but it tells us how many pieces make up that one whole. Our numerator tells us the number of unit fractions that make up our fraction. And we learned in the previous lessons that a unit fraction is one part of the whole, right? And when we make fractions, we use those to build the fractions that we're talking about. Okay, check out our previous lesson on unit fractions if you want to know more about that. But that's just a quick recap to get our brain flowing. So here I have in two circles. I like to think about food, so I'm going to call them pizza, right? So here we have a very small pizza, and here we have a very big pizza, okay? So if I came up to you and I said, hey, I ate one half of a pizza last night. Okay, your first question should be, well, how big was the pizza? Okay, because if I split this pizza into half, right, makes my unit fraction one half, so I'll label each of those one half. And then I label this pizza, and I know I'm not doing it perfect, okay, but I split this whole pizza into two equal parts. That would make my unit fraction one out of two, or one half, okay? And I can see very clearly here that if I ate one half, of this pizza, that's a little bit different than if I ate one half of this really big pizza, right? So our key concept, our first thought that we need to have today is that the size of the whole determines the size of the unit fraction, okay? So to make it simple, here I had a large pizza, and when I split it into two equal parts, this half was larger than when I took the small pizza and split it into half. I'm representing the value, right, with a one half, but this one half is way bigger than that one half. So the size of the hole, how big the hole is, is going to determine the size of the unit fraction. All right, so here I have two pieces of string cheese, okay? Um, maybe it's a crazy color string cheese, who knows, a couple years ago they had crazy color ketchup, that didn't work out so well. So here for my blue string cheese, I cut it into three equal pieces, and this is one-third of my blue string cheese, okay, the whole string cheese. For the red string cheese, you can see it's a little bit bigger, and I split that into three equal pieces, and here is one-third of that whole string cheese. So I want to see, okay, wait a minute, if this is one-third, how big, how long would my whole blue string cheese be? Well, I know that unit fractions are equal parts of a fraction. So my next part needs to be the exact same size. And now I'm not perfect, but I'm going to do my best right there. Okay, that looks pretty good. So if this was one-third, then my next part would be the same size. I'm going to label that one-third. And obviously, if my denominator is three, I know that my whole string cheese is split up into three equal parts. So I need one more, right, because I already have two unit fractions. So I need one more, and I'll make it about that long. Here we go. And you can see that this is now the length of the blue string cheese. I took the unit fraction, and I knew that unit fractions have to be equal parts. So I duplicated that or drew it again three different times, again, because my denominator was three. And that gave me a total of three-thirds or one whole string cheese. So if you're looking at this, you should already be thinking, wait a minute, the red string cheese is probably going to be longer because the one-third was way longer than the blue one-third. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I want to draw out the whole red string cheese now. So let me go ahead and, again, do my best. 
Uh, that looks about right. So if this one third was that size, this one third needs to be that size. And again, my denominator is three, which means I need three total pieces that make up my whole. So I'll draw another one right there. And as you could tell, as you probably could, already guessed, the red string cheese was way longer than the blue string cheese. And this was equal to three thirds or one whole. So we can actually build the whole and see how long it is, even if they just give us one unit fraction, because we're using our fraction knowledge that unit fractions are equal parts. There's one other thing I want you to notice right here. I just made one whole, right, or three thirds. For this one, one whole was also equal to three thirds, because if you make the, if you split it into three equal pieces, and then you have all three of them, obviously that would be one. But that leads us to this key thought that you're going to need, and that is when the numerator is the same as the denominator, okay? So when you split it up into eight equal pieces, and then you used all eight of those pieces, that fraction is equal to one whole. So you could have two halves, three thirds, four fourths, five fifths, six six, eight eighths. Anytime the numerator is the same as the denominator, the fraction is equal to one whole. All right, so here we have a piece of pizza, and this is actually one sixth of a whole pizza. And our job is to say, wait a minute, if this is one sixth, how big could the whole be? So to kind of help us draw it, I'm gonna do my best right here to outline this for us. And this is my unit fraction, which I know unit fractions are equal parts, so all my other unit fractions are gonna be the exact same size. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna draw it. Yeah, there we go, okay. And you could, I'm putting together these unit fraction pieces, trying to do my best to make them the same size, okay? And that's gonna be one sixth, one sixth, one sixth. Now that's four sixths, so I need two more to make one whole pizza. Okay, there we go. That one's not perfect, but I did my best. And here we go. Now I have six copies of my unit fraction, which is gonna be equal to six out of six, or one whole. You could also take that unit fraction and put it together in a different way. So if I wanted to take that unit fraction, so let me draw it again right here, okay? And I wanted to put it together in a different way to make a different looking pizza, but that was still the same size, maybe I wanted to do it like this. Maybe I wanted to do one six here. Here's another one six. Make this another one six. Now obviously that would be four six. And right here you can see I took that unit fraction and I put it together in a different way. But here's the thing, because it was a unit fraction, because it's an equal part of the whole, if you ate this top pizza and I ate this bottom pizza, we ate the same amount because they were both made up of six six and this one sixth was the same size. Welcome to the challenge zone. All right, welcome to the challenge zone. For those who are new, the challenge zone is when we take a concept we just learned and we take it to the next level. So I, your goal, okay, is to draw, if this part is equal to two thirds, what would one whole look like, right? What would three thirds look like, right? Which is the same thing as one. What would three thirds look like if this is two thirds? So I want you to go ahead and pause the video, try this one out yourself, and then push play when you're ready to check your work, or if you're thoroughly confused and you need some help. It's okay if you're confused, because this is the challenge zone. Go ahead and pause it, and then push play when you're ready. So the first thing I learned today is that I'm building holes using my unit fraction. Well, if this is equal to two thirds, I know unit fractions are the same, so if I just divide this into half, I've now made one third and one third. So I know my unit fraction should be about this size right here. So if I want three thirds, I'm just going to boop, draw another same size unit fraction on there. And if that was two thirds, this is what one whole would look like. So if you get a question like this, go ahead and just split it into a unit fraction and then build using the unit fraction, right? Unit fractions are our building blocks for fractions. Thank you so much for checking our lesson today. We love if you would join our Instructed Beats family. Uh, like, subscribe, let comment, let us know where you're watching from. Check out our website, check out our online store, buy some merchandise. We'd love to have you sportsman Instructed Beats t-shirts. Again, thank you so much, Instructed Beats.
out.